Hi, this is Richard Byrne from Free Technology for Teachers. And today I'm going to show you how you can add a picture to your forms in Google Forms. This is a new feature. I just learned about it from Brent Catlett, who writes a blog, Cats Chronicles. You can check it out there. And he's got some uh, drawn out directions. But I'm just going to give you a screencast of the process here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new form. I've already signed into my account. And let's create uh, a title here. Let's call it Sample 3 or whatever we want to call it. I'll use a default theme for now. And we'll just say Sample Activity. And now my first question is going to be just like I was making a, any other quiz. Uh, let's just say, uh, which of my dogs is this? And we'll make it multiple choice. And I'll give you two choices here. It's either Max or it's Morrison. Perfect. So I clicked Done there. Now let's add an item here. Let's go add an image. I'm going to upload from my desktop. I have some pictures that I've stored on my desktop that I'm going to use. And so let's go ahead and let's pull in Oh, let's say this picture here. And we'll upload that picture. When that picture uploads, it'll be inserted directly into my form. All right, so that picture is uploaded. And now I can add an image title if I want, but that would give away the answer to my, my question here. So I'm not going to do that. And I'm good with that picture. Done. All right, so we put our picture in. Make sure I click done correctly that time. And now let's go ahead and let's add another item to our quiz. It'll be the same process again, and we'll add another item. So again, I am just going to add in my question title or my question name. It's going to be another question about my dogs, which of my dogs is this and again I'll give you the same choices it's either Max or Morrison and now let's add another item let's add a picture and as you can see if I didn't have pictures stored on my desktop I could actually use my webcam and take a picture of myself or take a picture of uh, anything I held up to the webcam or I go out and I can search and find images on the web. This could be great for diagrams of cells or something to that effect that you want students to be able to identify the parts of. Uh, we could also pull in pictures from our Google Drive account or our Google Plus account. Now let's pull in another picture that I have on my computer here. Make sure I have a picture for my other dog. There's my other dog. And we'll upload that picture. And again, I could title the picture, but I'm not going to in this case. I want you to guess at it. Click Done, and we're all set. So let's go ahead and look at the live form. Okay. So here's the live form. Which of my dogs is this? And you can go ahead and you can answer. And then which of my dogs is this one? And you can go ahead and answer again. And I won't give away the answer, but you can find out on freetechforteachers.com.